I just got back from the Lesotho mission trip. It just felt really amazing that so many, like 16 strangers can come together and work together amazingly as a team for four days um, just because we're all there for one purpose and that's to go and tell every village about Jesus. And um, it was very exciting to go into the villages and to bless those people with um, spiritual stories, to feed their souls with the promise of all that Jesus can do when they allow him into their lives. It was also um, thrilling to, to bless them with food and to see their faces. They would just lift up their blankets to hold all of the bounty that they were able to get. Then you really start realizing this is what, what life is all about, to care for people, to really be, be able to show God's love in a, in a practical and a tangible way to the people and to see when we, we gave them the parcels of food, they were so thankful and there was no arguing, no fighting. Each of them just were just so grateful for the little bit they received and they were so excited and they were celebrating when, uh, when we came there. They were praising, they were singing, they were celebrating. You could see the smiles on their faces. And the children have nothing. And they're just happy to receive a packet of beans and a can of meat and a sweetie. And it makes them happy. And even if they don't get that, they just joyful. On the first night that we got there, me and Tammy decided to go for a walk. A little boy came up to us with his little metal car that he made out of his own things, recycled things he found on the floor. And he was so proud to show us his car. It just shows how happy he can be with so little. And we spoiled breath because we just want more and more. I remember when we were driving to villages, um, thinking to myself, how these people get around with all those uh, roads that really undrivable. Um, and then I was told that the women of the villages, they have to walk 25 kilometers each day just to fetch fresh water for the family. When you go to the mission field, you go where God is already working and you get in touch with His heart for the, for the lost and the, and the underprivileged and the poor and the downtrodden and that you realize that is what His Great Commission was all about and that is to, to go and make disciples of people, to go and show to the people of this world your love or the love of God. But when you ask God to lead you on a mission and, and prepare you for what His will is and what His work that He needs done is, it's amazing to watch. That's why I love going again and again to see how it touches people's lives and how people come back and they're on fire for God and on fire for the things of His kingdom. It was an eye-opener for myself as I realized how much we have and how little they have. Um, and every day we take so much for granted. The mission field is big, but it can also be close. When people ask, should they apply for missions or should they go on missions, is that everyone should go on missions at least once in their life. Missions isn't for everyone. Not everyone will feel like they need to go again and again but everyone needs to go at least once. It's really a life-changing experience.